And I kind of feel like Grandolf. Gan, Grand, Gandalf, Grandolf? I don't know. I watched Star Wars. I didn't watch Lord of the Rings. <sighs> Welcome back to Sunday Strolls. I'm in Canada, but more specifically, I'm on an island called Salt Spring Island. We're in a place called Ruckle Park. I'm down to my last roll of film. Some T-Max 400, and we're gonna load it up into the M6 with the Voigtlander 35 on and see what we can get. Might as well get the first frame here. It's a nice looking view. We're gonna shoot it at box speed. We're gonna try and get all of that vertically here. Oh, that's a much better frame. Here we go. Let's top down. I kind of want to silhouette this. Three, two, one. First one down. Okay, I think we're gonna head down. Let's get off the beach here and just somehow have to make it up this hill. Oh, <laughs> that could have been bad. Dang, look at that tree with all the moss on it. Let's go get a tight shot of that. Somewhere right in there like that. Oh, you gotta back up with it. 125th and a four. Three, two. Honestly, let's get real tight with it. Let's go extreme. We're gonna go 500th and a 250th. Puts us at just a half a stop under. Three, two. I don't know. Anyway, let's head. There's a trail over there. Let's head over there. See what we can find. Oh, wow. Look at this gorgeous. Now we're cooking with gas. Look at the bathrooms there, looking heroic. We gotta get a shot of that, don't we? The sun's kinda peeking through for us for it. Okay, a 60th out of five, six, that'll be nice. Three, two. That'll be nice, there's a little bit of sunlight coming through the trees there. Okay, I can't forget my walking stick. Yo, yes sir. On we go. This place is so bloody green. Canada, eh? Okay, I'm walking down, I see these trees, and I'm gonna try and find some sort of frame in there. That's really stunning. Just gotta get across this stuff. Yo, made it. Ooh. Look at this stuff. What in the world? What planet am I on? It's like a Dr. Seuss book. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I don't know, I'm probably kinda lame. Let's see, dude. I feel like there's something lower to the ground featuring that tree with all the moss on it. All the greenery with all the other foliage coming up. That's a word, right? I'm gonna stay at 5'6". I'm gonna open up shutter to a 60th. I'll frame this guy up on the left-hand side. I don't know, maybe I need a really wide lens to make my vision come true here, I don't know. We're stuck with the 35. Let's just get a tight of this tree alone. We'll keep going. Here we go, a little bit of light peeking through, giving it us a nice edge on there. Three, two, one. This is crazy. Okay, we're gonna keep going down the path, see what else we find. Shit. Whoa, look at that, cleared it. Grab this guy. Canada, eh? Oh, this is kind of fun. You got the tree kind of framing up the little picnic table. Nice and low. Five, six. I don't want to silhouette it too much. Three, two. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, you got the family going. Three, two. We kind of miss the family, but I don't know. Nothing to be said. It's a pretty shot. Let's go check down by the waterfront. Looks like there might be a tree that might make for a nice subject. Try and make you feel something like a Shel Silverstein poem. Oh, this one looks like a giving tree for sure. Except there's no apples on it. Oh, look at this bad boy. Oh, 
we the giving tree. I don't want any of that. Man, I feel like a weatherman. I don't want any of this. I just want to focus on that guy right there. I need to be higher up. Coming a little closer. And we went to an F11. Here we go. Three, two. See, I don't know if that works. I feel like I need to be higher up and further back to show that it's a lonely, humble tree, not a heroic, stoic tree. You know what I'm saying? I need to be right up. I need to be up there, something like that. The question is how to do it. <laughs> Am I about to climb this freaking tree right here? Here's the plan. I'm gonna hike that branch and see if I can get a clear view of that tree. Chubby fat ass. <laughs> Something. We're closer. Here we go. Three, two. I don't know. Let's go grab our walking stick and keep going. Look at that little guy. It's a little more grand than our other little friend, but still pretty good looking. F8. Here we go. Three, two. Oh, got the seagull in there. The seagull was coming in for the landing. It's a nice little extra zhuzh, little zhuzh on that photo. Oh, that's a pretty coastline. Three, two. Gotta grab my walking stick. Well, there's a nice shot right there. So, let's get it. Here we go, coastline poking out there. 811 split at a thousand. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm kind of over the park. I say we head back to the car, start heading back into town, and if we see a cool photo, we'll pull over and get it. Can't leave the walking stick. Cool old cars right here. Let's get a picture of those bad boys. One, two, a five, six, and a thousand. Three, two. Let's get the caboose here. Three, two. We go to two eight, getting the inside of the car here. Three, two. Here we go, we'll get that for sale sign going in the background. Three, two. One. Okay, back in the car we go. Okay, so I didn't see too many things driving along, but we're in the little harbor town now. We'll see if we can get something here. Let's find something with these boats. Those guys are nice. Five, six, and a thousand. Three, two. I don't know. Something like, yeah. Thousandth out of five, six, eight. Three, two. Kind of a lame shot. Okay, let's go see what else we can find. Oh, this is the shot. The seagull up on top of this like warehouse looking building. Got the Canadian flag going in the background. Something like it. Three, two, one. 
I think that'll be nice. Very Canadian, eh? Got a few shots left. We'll burn them down here. Oh, look at all these boats. Get some shots of that, huh? Here we go, give it a little more shallow depth of field at an F4. A thousand, three, two, one. Get this boat in between the pier there. Three, two, one. That was it. That was the final shot. Yeah. <laughs>